Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm in a car. Um, that's because I'm moving into my house today. That doesn't make sense. The movers are um, moving, doing their thing, so I decided to film in my car today. But yes, I'm moving into my house today and that's super exciting for me. Um, I've been living in like an apartment kind of thing with my family for um, this whole entire fall semester and I'm finally getting to move into a house and that's exciting. But today I decided to make a video about moving itself because I've experienced it recently. I moved two states over to a place that I completely knew nothing about and I didn't know any I didn't know a soul. I didn't know anyone. All I had was my mom and my pop, and the rest was um, for me to explore. So moving is a really tough thing if you think about it. You're completely uprooting your life and moving it to another place and having to completely start over. It's tough. And since I've been through it recently, I feel like I have some advice to give to any of those of you who are moving whether it be, well, maybe you're going to college, maybe you're just moving just like I did. Either way, it can be pretty hard. So I decided to tell you how I survived moving and to give you my advice on the topic. Okay, my first tip is to be patient. You just came from a life where you knew what you were doing, you knew the people, you knew what was going on, you knew what your life was about, and now it's kind of been turned upside down basically and you want it to be back the way it was you want the old relationships again you want just you want the familiarity but you're going to have to have patience it's really hard it is hard to have patience when you, you feel like you're not making friends or you can feel really lonely at times but just know it is going to change but you just have to know that life changes and this experience is going to be so beneficial to you in the long run my second tip is to be excited and optimistic a lot of the time it's definitely hard it's disheartening when you're new it's hard but if you think about it you're in this brand new place that's awesome that's crazy and there's all these places that you have never been before there's all these people that you've never seen before you can completely do whatever you want with yourself you can do whatever you like as long as you remain positive so if the sun is shining you have this brand new place to explore that's so exciting to me and those are the best parts of life when you are thrown into some place new and you have to explore and reinvent and remake and mold and just make it fun it doesn't have to be lonely or sad or you don't have to feel like you've lost something you can feel like you've gained something it's an optimistic experience you're not closing the book you're starting another chapter okay my next tip has to do with people especially in high school it's definitely extremely difficult to move to a new high school and not know a single person that's hard especially if you're coming in everyone already has their friends everyone already knows each other but you feel kind of new that's definitely difficult one thing that I've learned through my experience is to take everything that people say with a grain of salt by that I mean get to know each person separately don't take someone else's word for it I've had plenty of experiences where I'll meet this person and they'll say, oh, you shouldn't be friends with this person because they're rude, they're this, they're that, anything negative. And then I have taken what they said seriously. I've said, okay, I won't be friends with that person. I believe you. But that's not fair to that person. You could be completely missing out on their friendship. Not only is that not fair to that person, but it's not fair to yourself. And that's no way to make friends. You can be tempted to fall into the regular, you know, high school difficult situation where people like to butt heads. You don't have to play into that. You don't have to take part in that. Just try your best to hear everyone out and let everyone speak for themselves. And my last tip is to look to the future. That is what's really helped me get through a lot of this. It's really hard when you're bogged down in the present and everything right now seems so solid and you can feel really lonely and you can feel like nothing's just going your way. But if you look to the future, if you focus on what you love, everything can become just so much clearer. Just focus on where you want to go, what you want to do. Just surround yourself with the most positive people you can find and you'll be alright. So I have a lot to say on this topic and it's really hard to like pinpoint my thoughts on this and put them into points. But what I'm trying to say is just be as optimistic as possible even when it gets really tough. 
But that's all I have for today. Feel free to comment below or subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.